Last time on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Using your keypads, who has the prettier feet? Kyle Hunter or me, Regis Philbin. The audience has been wrong lately, but tonight they're right on. I believe I was robbed on that one. <laughs> now, join us from New York for night 68 of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Thank you very much. Hello again, and welcome to Sunday Night at Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Now, I just want to know, does anybody meet anybody the old-fashioned way anymore? Last week, we found out a contestant met his wife playing trivia at a bar. At a bar! Look at this, we've made trivia hip. And then there was the guy who met his wife through an internet personal ad, and that's getting quite popular. And now we have a returning contestant, Kevin Simcox, from Havelock, North Carolina, went to high school with his future wife. But it wasn't until their 10th year reunion, when she asked him to dance, that it occurred to you, Kevin, to finally ask her out. She asked me to dance, yeah, and uh, that was good. That was you very good. chicken. Uh, so Monday night, I, I you called her. You wimp. I know. Well, well the, thing, the thing is, would you marry me? I mean... No, I wouldn't marry you. Know, Absolutely not. I, I definitely... Not for a million dollars. <laughs> I married way over my head. Did I, you? You know, I would have never... Expected her to have any interest in me. That's not sitting behind you in the relationship chair. Is, is, no, I'm kidding. No, no, no that <laughs> that fellow's just sitting there. Yeah. Uh, your your wife is uh, pregnant. Seven months pregnant. Seven months pregnant. Well, so it's gonna have a happy ending, huh? Yeah, I how hope long, so. How long you been married now? I'll be four years in May. That's terrific, Kevin. All right, so you got a companion here? My brother. And that's your brother right there, Tim. How you doing? Nice to see you. Now, you've won $300 yet, Kevin. You're 12 questions away from winning $1 million. The more questions you get right, the more money you win. Once you reach the $1,000 or the $32,000 level, you're guaranteed to leave here with at least that much money. Of all your three lifelines left to help you, and that's important, 50-50, where the computer will take away two of the wrong answers, leaving the correct answer and one wrong answer, you can ask the audience, where you can poll our studio audience to see what they think the answer is. And finally, you can phone a friend. Our friends at AT&T will help you call anyone, anywhere in America, to see if they can help you out. So if you're ready, Kevin, I why am. don't we do it? Why don't we play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? All right. Here we go. Here it comes now for $500, Kevin. What heating process is used to kill harmful bacteria in milk? Homogenization. Petrification. Pasteurization. Condensation. I believe that is C, pasteurization. You got it right. It's pasteurization. <laughs> Here it is for $1,000. What type of race would you see at a regatta? Horse, auto, skiing, boating. A regatta is a boat race. You bet it's a boat race. You got it right for $1,000. Ten away from a million now, all lifelines with him, going for $2,000, and here it comes. What celebrity serves as the spokesperson for White Diamond's perfume? Joan Collins, Elizabeth Taylor, Cher, Sophia Loren. I believe that is B, Elizabeth Taylor. Want to make it your final answer? Yes. Yeah, she's the one. She's the one. You're doing good. We're going for $4,000 right now. What family had several performers on the television show In Living Color? Jackson, Baldwin, Wayans, Cusack. That is the Wayans family. C. Final answer? Yes. Got that right, too. You won 4000 Here it comes now for $8,000. The book Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil is set in what city? Miami, New Orleans, Austin, Savannah. 
This is a beautiful little city. My wife and I stopped there on the way back from our honeymoon. And she's been on my case ever since to stop again. But that is in Savannah, D. Final answer? Yes. Yeah, the garden was in Savannah. You're right. <laughs> Kevin, you're right up there. We're seven away from the million. You're going for 16,000 right now. Even your brother's smiling. The second half is the tough half. I know, I know it is. Gonna get tougher now, but take a look at this one for 16,000. Okay. Which of these former world leaders grew up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin? Anwar Sadat, Lech Walesa, Golda Meir, Corazon Aquino. about lifelines? I'm trying to think which one will help, uh, because I don't. I, I don't know that a 50-50 would do me any good, except to make it easier on a phone a friend. <laughs> um, well, you still have the audience, if you dare. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid it would go 25 across the board on that, because that's not, doesn't seem like the most, uh, Let me take the 50-50. Want to try that? Sure. Yeah. Computer, take away two of the wrong answers, please. Leaving one wrong answer and the correct one. Golda Meir, Corazon the Kino. The one I, I thought that it was is still left. I, I'm leaning towards Golda Meir because probably when she was born, Israel wasn't a independent she may have gone back there to to be a leader tougher than asking your wife to dance that first time. She asked me. She it's asked you. to say yes. Um, it's a little different on your, on your sofa than, than it is sitting right here. I'm going to go with gold in my ear. Got to uh, go with your first hunch. Well, I was, I was thinking about that. And uh, it's she's still there after the 50 so I'll, I'll think I'm going with that. Okay. Do I dare ask? Is that your final answer? Yes. You got it right for six. All right. He's doing good here. Going for 32,000, six away from a million and two lifelines left. Come on back. In our chair. Actually, this is the uh, second time you've been around here, right? Sure is, yeah. You were here earlier in the last year, maybe? I was in the first series uh, uh -huh. when it ran in August. How'd you do? Terribly. <laughs> Just uh, never got into the big seat. I was 0 for 3 in the fast finger question, as my 8-year-old nephew reminded me of when I saw him last And time. he knew the answer, and you didn't? No, he was just giving me trouble for, uh, oh. you didn't even get any of the questions right. <laughs> What's it like, though, to come all the way to New York City, sit here, get this close, and then leave without being asked? I was disheartened because I don't, I don't know that people out there realize how hard it is to get here and how fortunate you've got to be. Yeah, uh, sure. I had people telling me I was so lucky that they that you called me to come. I had to initiate the process and answer the questions. It wasn't a sure. lottery or anything. Um, but coming back, I, I felt a lot more comfortable throughout the whole day yesterday sure. and today with the You're process. You're a little more used to the lights and the setup and all the music. Yeah, and, and then, of course, I missed the first two fastest finger questions yesterday. I was thinking, oh, wow, I'm 0 for 5 now. That's great. <laughs> so You're doing pretty good here. Yeah, You've got so. uh, two lifelines to go. You won 16,000. You're going for the all-important level of 32,000. And you're six away from the million. And let's play. Here we go again. <laughs> Thank you.
What contemporary artist designed the Vietnam Memorial Wall in Washington, D.C.? I. M. Pei, Maya Lin, Judy Chicago, Nina Akambu. I have been here, and I know that uh, it was she was I think she was a, a, a Yale law or architecture school student that did it. Uh, it was Maya Lin B. Maya Lin B. Final answer. Yes. Maya Lin B. Is the right answer for thirty-two. <laughs> Well, my friend, you're going for 64000 right now. You're five away from the million dollars, and you've got two lifelines left. Brother Timmy's very excited, very excited. <laughs> yeah. He's looking for a piece of the action if you win. <laughs> All right, let's look at it now for $64,000. What is the main ingredient in the Middle Eastern dish hummus? Chickpeas, eggplant, soybeans, yogurt. Hummus. Yogurt doesn't seem very Middle Eastern, but uh, I'm not a. I'm sort of an American eater, meat and potatoes. Uh, That's what you eat down there in North Carolina, right? Yeah, sure. You haven't seen hummus in a whole lifetime, have you? <laughs> if I have, I wouldn't know it. Uh, but I, I love to say it. Hummus. <laughs> Tastes, it feels good. Okay, all right. But, uh, you know, All right, so what are we going to do here? Well, what I did know, in, in New York, you can get anything from anywhere in the world. That's right. Uh, and it, you can even know, get hummus. You can get fresh hummus, I'm certain, within a block of this building. So I'm going to ask the audience. All right. Uh, this will be a little bit of a challenge for the New York audience. Wow. Okay, audience, you heard him. He needs some help. Here. On your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, please vote now. Well, <laughs> well, there you go. 86% kind of overwhelming say it's chickpeas. Has there ever been that kind of margin for such a high dollar quest? That, that's a pretty good margin. That's a pretty good margin. Now, they don't serve well, us where I come from, but I'm going to take the people in New York's word sure. for it. You don't want to listen to the 2% who said yogurt? No, I'll, I'll go with A, I'm sure. Final answer? Yes. Final answer is chickpeas. It's the right answer. $25,000. There it is, $64,000 for Kevin Simcox. Okay. He's doing well here. He's won uh, $64,000, going for $125,000. One lifeline left you can call. Uh, a friend. Now, you know, right behind you, you can't see him, of course, but he's right in my line of vision, is your brother Tim. Mm -hmm. And he's contorting and making all kinds. He's really pulling for you. <laughs> Timmy, what do you think of your kid brother now? He's doing pretty good so far. Now, as an older brother, and I understand there were three older brothers, did you torture him a lot as you were growing up? Uh, just two older brothers and not more than I don't think anyone else would have. Well, didn't you line him up against the refrigerator and smack him with tennis balls? <laughs> uh, that, 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 that was a character building exercise. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you I got character to spare. <laughs> he says you're a pretty smart guy. Do you think, how, have you been playing along? Oh, yeah. And how have you done? Have you got everyone right? I've got as much money as he does. <laughs> Boy, we'll this see if his check clears. There you go. <laughs> this, is, this is strong competition right here. <laughs> All right, so we're going for 125000 four away from a million. Let's play. Here we go. <laughs> for $125,000, Kevin, in which of the following countries are individual states called cantons? Mexico, Switzerland, India, China. My, uh, my dad turned me on to crossword puzzles a long time ago. It's amazing how many of these questions you learn from doing them. Uh, there's a there's a canton that is it's usually referred to as Swiss Canton. It's a three-letter word, and I don't even know what it is right now. But I do know that 
It's always a clue, Swiss Canton. I've never seen it anywhere else. So I'm gonna go with B, Switzerland. B, Switzerland. Yeah. Final answer? Yes. You're right for 125,000. <laughs> All right, man, you're moving right up there. We're going for a quarter million dollars right now. Three away from the million. <laughs> Should you miss in here, I want to remind you, you lose $93,000. Here it comes for $250,000. In Greek mythology, who entered the labyrinth and killed the Minotaur? Perseus. Theresius. Jason. Theseus. I don't know mythology, Greek or otherwise. But I have a brother that does. I would like to telephone my brother, Patrick. Your brother, Patrick? Is yes. He anything like Timmy? A lot smarter than he is. All right, good. <laughs> All right, we need a brother named Patrick, AT&T. Get him on the line, please. He'll answer it before I give him the choices. Me. Oh. Hey, Patrick. Yes. Regis Philbin here from New York. Hey, good evening. How you doing? Fine, you. You, you know, the craziest thing has happened here. Oh, Kevin, yeah. Kevin was in the hot seat. He fainted. And Timmy had to come in and, and pitch in for him. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, Patrick. I'm kidding. Okay. All right. But you're involved. I know you can't see us right now, but uh, we're pretty excited around here. Yeah. He's won $125,000, and Kevin has a chance to win a quarter million dollars with your help. Sounds good. So he's going to read you the question, the four answers. One of them's the right answer. Okay. It's all yours, Kevin. You've got 30 seconds, and they start right now. In Greek mythology, who entered the labyrinth and killed the Minotaur? Perseus, Tiresias, Jason, or Theseus? I was Theseus, Kevin. You're certain? I'm certain. You're smarter than me. I'll take D. <laughs> I, I hate to even say that on television. You had... He'll tape it and use it, against, use it against me forever. You know, you did have 15 seconds to ask him how he was. Theseus. Theseus. You can't wait for this quarter million, can you? I need it, man. <laughs> you got to tell me the final words. Final answer. You got it for a quarter million dollars! <laughs> oh, man! We're going for a half million dollars when we come back. No lifelines. It's all up to him. We'll be back. Okay, here's the story here. It's quite an exciting one, too. Kevin Simcox has won $250,000, and here's the check to prove it right there, Kevin. Your name on it, and that's what it looks like. <laughs> Going for a half million dollars, two questions away from the million, but out of lifelines. And your brother came through nicely. Oh, yeah. And he's getting married this summer, you told me. He is, yeah. And this means a big wedding gift from you. I don't know how to properly thank a lifeline. A firm handshake just won't seem to do it on that one, so. <laughs> Meanwhile, the brother directly behind you, mm -hmm. don't look. Having the time of his life. Yeah. I'm really he's glad. He's sitting next to a very pretty girl, and all of a sudden... Uh, He's forgotten about you, and he's more interested in her. I mean, not have only forgotten about me. You're winning the money, and he's having all the fun. He'll be talking to me later. All right. Now, here you go for a half million dollars, all right? Yeah. No lifelines. Got to remind you again, should you miss in here, you'll lose $218,000. Let's get on with it. Let's play. In the original 1900 L. Frank Baum book, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, what color are Dorothy's shoes? Blue, ruby, silver, black. I'm not even going to touch now, wait, this. You must have seen The Wizard of Oz. It was black and white, wasn't it? <laughs> I know she has the ruby slippers, but the 1900, uh, the original, I've never read the book. I've hardly really even seen the movie. Um, so I'm not going to touch this one. I'm going to thank New York, thank you, thank everybody here, and I'm out of here. <laughs> the original, uh, the answer, the answer was silver. Was just in case hey. this comes up again further on in your life. I'll never forget it, Reed. Yeah, okay, here you go, pal. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Here's your brother, Ray. Right? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Hey, you go, Timmy. Nice to see you. <laughs> I like Timmy! <laughs>
Kevin just won a quarter million dollars, and his big brother is still giving him a noogie. Great couple of guys, and one more smart brother on the phone at home. That's a terrific team they've got. But right now, we've got ten new contestants ready to go. Who are they tonight? Let's find out. They are Mike Stacy, Sevierville, Tennessee. Stephanie Bingham, Lexington, Kentucky. Matthew Jenkins, Columbus, Ohio. Craig Hart, Greensboro, North Carolina. John Glazer, Lexington, Massachusetts. John Stopa, Worthington, Ohio. Paul Colucci, Larchmont, New York. Evan Carter, Brooklyn, New York. Robbie Lewis, Fort Smith, Arkansas. Art Krause, Princeton, New Jersey. Okay, contestants, congratulations on getting this far. Now, here's how it works. In a moment, a question and four answers will appear on your screens. The one who puts those answers in the correct order in the fastest time will be our next player. Audience, we need complete silence here. Here we go. Here's that question. With the following authors in the order of their birth, starting with the most recent. Flannery O'Connor, Eudora Welty, Daniel Steele, J.K. Rowling. Okay, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order. Starting with the most recent, and it's J.K. Rowling, then Danielle Steele, and then Flannery O'Connor, and then Eudora Welty. That's the right order. Let's see who got it right. In the fastest time, Stephanie Bingham. Stephanie Bingham, congratulations. Ready to play? Let's go. All right, Stephanie Bingham from Lexington, Kentucky. She's uh, an attorney, a general counsel for a state agency down there. Nice to have you here. Thank you. How do you feel? Oh, I'm very tense. Are you really? <laughs> yes. Right. Well, now you're married to, you married a chef. I did. Yeah, what's that like? I often wonder, does he cook for you? Absolutely. It's the smartest thing I ever did. Oh, boy, <laughs> that's great. And what a way to meet him, too. I mean, he was uh, one of those uh, fellows who came to your rescue one night, right? Um, yeah, kind of. Mm. Um, I met my husband in a, dump in a dumpster. Um, he, uh, actually, we were at the same restaurant, and somebody stole my purse off the back of my chair. And so I was obviously very upset, and several people went out with me to try to see if maybe they'd discarded it in the trash. And I literally had my head in the dumpster and looked up, and I didn't know him. He had come out to try to help me look. Met him there later a few weeks, and uh, he, I didn't remember him, but he said, yes, that was me. And I knew he had to have a kind heart if he would help someone he didn't even know. Yeah. So being a crime victim is not always a bad thing. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so then you married him. I did. And had a little... A little girl. Yeah. Yes. But the important thing is, did you get your purse back? Never did. No. Not even in that dumpster. Huh? No. Well, all right. That's a nice story anyway, <laughs> Stephanie. Nice to have you here. You know about the rules, right? You know about your lifelines, 50-50. Ask the audience, phone a friend. So if you're ready, Stephanie Bingham, let's do it. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. <laughs> Starting out with that $100 question, and here it is. Which of these snacks does not have a cream filling? Oreo, Hostess Cupcake, Slim Jim, Twinkie. Um, I believe that's the Slim Jim. Yeah, of course, it's the Slim Jim. No cream there. $200, here it is. Which of these cosmetics is traditionally worn nearest the eyes? Mascara, blush, Nail polish, lipstick. <laughs> well, having used this a few times in my life, I believe the answer is A, mascara. Mascara is the right answer, $200. <laughs> Here it is for $300. What theme park's mascot is Shamu the Orca? Six Flags, Walt Disney World, Bush Gardens, SeaWorld. The logical one would be D, SeaWorld. Not only logical, the right answer. So you won $300. $500. Which of the following women's gymnastics events takes place on a single wooden rail? Uneven bars, balance beam, floor exercise, vault. B, the balance beam. It's a good one. You won $500. All right, Stephanie, you're doing good. We're going for $1,000 right now. Which of the following is the proper term for a newborn kangaroo? 
Joey, calf, nestling, pup. I believe that answer is A, Joey. Right answer. <laughs> from Lexington, Kentucky, in our hot seat right there. There's a lot of Savannah business in your, in your bio. We just had a young man who told us on, he stopped in Savannah on his way back from his honeymoon, and you honeymooned there. I did. And then you named your firstborn Savannah. I did. And one day maybe you'll move to Savannah? You never know. Never know is right, mm. but they love you there in Lexington. They say you're a, <laughs> a tough prosecutor. Let's see how tough you are right here. You've got three lifelines. You're going for 2,000. Let's play. Here we go. $2,000. According to the Washington Irving tale, how long did Rip Van Winkle sleep? Eight hours, 40 days, 20 years, a decade. Well, I know he slept a long time, but I'm not exactly sure. Um... I think I better ask the audience. Want to ask the audience? Sure, we can do that. Audience, Stephanie needs your help. On your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Well, audience going with 20 years. 78% feel it's 20 years. Rip Van Winkle was asleep. I wish they'd been a little more positive about it. Um, I think I better go with C, 20 years. Well, 78 is a pretty good percentage. Want to make it your final answer? I do. Yeah, they're right, and you're right. <laughs> We're up to $4,000 now. Here it is. The musical Grease was set at what fictional high school? Fabian. Rydell. Roosevelt. Avalon. The answer is B, Rydell. B, Rydell. Final answer? You're right, it's Rydell. $4,000. Now we're going for $8,000, and you're eight away from a million. Here it is for $8,000. How many degrees are in each of the individual angles that make up an equilateral triangle? 60, 45, 90, 30. I believe a triangle has a total of 180 degrees, and with three angles, that would make it 60 degrees each. So, My answer is A, 60. Got that figured out? I hope so. Final answer? Yes. Right again for $8,000. They can, they can be a little tricky, can't they? You have to think about it. All right, I'll go up to 16000 Stephanie. Should you miss in here, you'll lose uh, 7000 But here it is, $16,000. Before selling it to the U.S., from what country did France receive Louisiana? Britain, Spain, Mexico, Russia. I think I'm going to have to phone a friend. Who do you want to call? I want to call Fran. Fran is? Uh, Fran is my sister-in-law's father. Okay, good, fine. Well, uh, AT&T, we need Fran on the line. We need some help here. Thank you. Hello? Hello, Fran. Yes. Yeah, Regis Philbin here from ABC's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Yes. How are you? 
Very good. Good. I'm here with Stephanie Bingham, and she needs your help right now. Okay. I know you can't see us, but she's won 8,000, going for 16,000. She's going to come on the line and uh, read you a question and then four possible answers. One of them's the right answer, okay? Okay. All right, so Stephanie, it's all yours. 30 seconds, starting now. Before selling it to the U.S., from what country did France receive Louisiana? Britain, Spain, Mexico, or Russia? I believe it was Spain. Okay, how, how certain are you about that, Fran? <laughs> uh, fairly certain. Read that question real quick to me again. Before selling it to the U.S., from what country did France receive Louisiana? I'm uh, pretty sure. Pretty sure. Pretty sure? Yep. Okay. I'm not you. absolute, but I'm pretty sure. He sounded like he was pretty sure, though. I wish he hadn't said that last part. Well, you know, everybody trying to cover themselves. <laughs> um, well, Fran's a former history teacher, so I'd say if he feels pretty sure, then, then that's a pretty good bet. Uh, and out of all of those, that's the one the only one that made any sense to me, so I'm gonna go with Fran, say B, Spain. You're gonna say final answer to me? I'm gonna say final answer to you. Fran's right, you won $16,000. are going for $32,000 here, we're six away from a million, one lifeline left, come on back. Stephanie Bingham, Lexington, Kentucky, in the hot seat right now. Kind of tense. Still a little tense, aren't you? Very tense. Very much, yeah. Now, you're a, a fiery attorney by day. Some people say you're a real hot prosecutor. Tough one. Um, well, that's actually when I was a prosecutor, because um, the work I'm doing now is still connected to law enforcement, but mm -hmm. the officers that I worked with um, call me a barracuda with lipstick. No kidding. Very, yes. How flattering. Very flattering image. Actually, I, I took it as great compliments because... Well, which is tougher, sitting here compliment. standing there in the courtroom? I would rather be in the courtroom every day for the next year. <laughs> Any courtroom. We're just really getting started here, but you're six questions away from a million. You're going for $32,000. One lifeline left. Let's play. <laughs> what is a Feta Morgana? Roman goddess. Ancient book of spells. Comet. Barrage. Well, I know that Morgana was one of the characters in the Arthur legend, and that she was a sorceress, um, would have been involved with spells. I'm not sure what the Fata means. <sighs> well, you've got one lifeline here. You could narrow it down by two if you'd like. That helps you. Sure, okay. Computer, please take away two of the wrong answers, leaving Stephanie one wrong answer and the correct one. Well, Ancient Book of Spells is still in there, and Mirage. Mirage was the only one that I, I also considered. Um... You lose, you lose 15,000 here, but if you make it to 32, you can't leave with less than that. an awful lot of uh, trips to the toy store for Savannah. Um, Mirage could make sense because with Morgana being a sorceress, um, appearing and not appearing at 
would make sense also. Uh... Stephanie? Just wanted to make sure you were still here. Oh, um... As much as I would love to keep going, I am not certain enough about this um, to risk fifteen thousand uh, dollars. I understand. I we all understand. You'd like to leave with sixteen thousand. I think I would. All right. So that's your final decision. That's my final. Now decision. you had a first hunch about yes. an ancient book of spells, and yes. I think uh, Mirage may have something. To, but your first hunch was spells, right? Yes, it was. And Mirage is the right answer. <laughs> so, first hunches don't always come out right. You did the right thing. You leave it with sixteen thousand dollars. Sure. Good luck. Thank you, you so much. Okay. Well, who can blame her? The dollar amounts on this show can be so big uh, we sometimes forget that sixteen thousand dollars is still a lot of money. But now we have nine more contestants ready to go. So here's the next fastest finger question. Put these television series in the order of their debut, starting with the most recent. Hanging with Mr. Cooper, Just Shoot Me, Judging Amy, Xena, Warrior Princess. Okay, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the most recent, and it was Judging Amy. And then Just Shoot Me. Xena, Warrior Princess, and finally, Hanging with Mr. Cooper. That's the right order. Let's see you've got it right in the fastest time. And the winner, Art. How you doing, Art? Let me see you. Come on, let's go. How you doing, Art? Oh, I got my breath. Oh, yeah. Geez. Really exciting, isn't it? Yeah. Where are you from? Princeton. Princeton, New Jersey. What do you do, Art? I'm a meteorologist. A meteorologist? Yes, How the National Weather Service. All right, good for you. Well, now we've got just a few minutes left, okay? So we'll, you know the rules, you know about the lifelines. Let's do it, okay? Ready to play? Oh, yes. Okay, Art's ready to play. He wants to be a millionaire. Right now. <laughs> For $100, Art. If two enemies agree to put their differences aside, Art, they are said to bury what weapon? Sword, hatchet, pistol, brass knuckles. Bury the hatchet, B. Yes, you're right, Art, for $100. $200, Art. In opera, what name is given to a female singer with the highest range? Baritone, tenor, soprano, gelato. Uh, C, Soprano. Good, Art. Good for you. $200. $300. Which of the following creatures is not a mammal? A whale, bat, dolphin, ostrich. The ostrich. You're right. It's the ostrich. Here it is now for $500. Which of the following was the nickname of Napoleon? Diminutive Dictator, Little Corporal, Old Ironsides, Petite Prince. I was thinking Little General, actually, but, uh, geez. I got a Little Corporal in here. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I hate to do it. Let me ask the audience, please. Really? All right, fine. Audience Art needs some help here. On your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, please vote now. Well, 69% feel it's the little corporal. Yeah, I just, I was thinking little general. Yeah. And uh, I guess I'll go with B. Napoleon was the little corporal. You all got it right. For $1,000, what car rental company uses the slogan, we try harder? Avis, Hertz, National, Budget. Oh, 
Oh, it is a lot easier at home, you know? Uh, <laughs> <sighs> rent a car lately? No, I haven't. I have not rented a car. I've seen ads, but... Uh, Ava say. You got it for a thousand dollars. Whoa, that could have been tricky. Well, there you go. There you go, Art. That sound means that we're out of time for tonight, but Art will be back here Tuesday night. And joining him will be 10 new contestants from all over the country. And they are Angela Garnapu, Ryan Davis, Hans Krim, Joseph Hoff. Eric Falchuk, Alan Schaefer, Deborah Van Ness, Bill Ferguson, Richard Kirka, and Jonathan Hurst.